welcome to DocNexus Health Minute. Delhi reports the first case of the Omicron BA.2.12 variant, which is more transmissible than the previous variant. Experts suggest more genomic sequencing and targeted testing rather than compelling people to wear masks to manage the effects of every emerging variants now and in the near future. Infectious disease experts from London have reported a patient with persistent COVID-19 for almost a year and a half. A study on nine patients with a weakened immune system suggested that, on average, infection lingers for 73 days, while two of these patients had an active infection for more than a year. The virus continues to replicate and adapt and change over time as a result of mutations, leading to a super long infection now called persistent COVID. A report from the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention suggests that rates for measles, whooping cough, and chickenpox vaccination in children in the United States of America are close to 94% for the year 2020-2021, which is 1% less than the previous year. However, vaccination data in kindergarten kids are uncertain due to staff shortages and other pandemic-related functional disruptions. A chief scientist at the World Health Organization has assured that the freeze on BBV1 Phyto vaccine supply is not related to the safety or efficacy of the vaccine, but is due to some issues in manufacturing processes. This will allow the manufacturer to upgrade facilities and address the deficiencies observed during an inspection. Do you think vaccine suspension related to compliance issues must be practiced for all COVID-19 vaccines? Let us know your views by commenting below. Health Minute, the most liked segment of Doc brings you the latest happenings in the medical field. Stay tuned for more insights. Happy Doc